Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anthony Becker, and I'm a university student from California, currently focused on biologically inspired computation. Bio-inspired computation includes concepts like genetic algorithms, cellular automata, and neural networks. In this series of videos, I'd like to share my journey as a baby researcher slash engineer and give you a feeling about what it's like to learn about some of these uh, subjects and also hopefully build some pretty cool things. If you have access to a computer with an internet connection and a bit of time, there's so much that you can do that's actually really interesting and beautiful. So in this video, let's take a look at the project that I've been spending the most time on. Oh boy, the first thing that you should know is that I make music for fun. The problem is that, in the words of the great Jabril's, I'm lazy. Music production is not exactly just messing around with some synthesizers, and you can't really make something really good in a short amount of time without a lot of practice. Uh, it's something that I am interested in, and like a lot of people, I've actually thought that I might want to do it full time. Um, but it's also a really risky career move. Not to mention, it's an expensive hobby. Filling a studio with even a moderate amount of equipment and software can cost thousands of dollars something that as a university student I don't always have. And I'm definitely not going to just like steal the software. That would be wrong. But maybe I could use some of my computer savviness to replace some of the hard work of programming synthesizers and choosing effects and settings and mixing and maybe even the synthesizers themselves. It's an idea. Here's the first thing that I took a look at. Modular software synthesizers and digital signal processing packages can empower you to roll your own synthesizers and get pretty creative with how they work. But I refer again to the great Jabril's. I am lazy. Here's the thing with this idea. Sure, you can build your own synthesizers, but then you still have to program them, write the music for them, add effects to that music, mix it, and everything else. So this actually ends up making it even more complicated. At this point in the process, I realized what it is that I actually wanted. The reason that I like to play around with music production is that I'm always actually writing music in my head. The easiest way for me to get those ideas out of my head is through really bad beatboxing. So that might go like, uh, or uh, maybe something more like, but it's more like, however, once I've done that, I'm basically back at the beginning of the process again, where I need to transcribe what I've beatboxed and then synthesize that and the whole thing. But what if I could have the computer do that for me? This is where I started to think about the method called style transfer. Style transfer is a method where you use deep learning to take the style of some content and apply it to the content of some other media. Deep learning, in turn, is a method for doing all sorts of data manipulation processes using artificial neural networks. Neural, you know, like neurons. So we're actually back in the domain of bio-inspired computation. Nice. At some point, I might do a video on the basics of deep learning, but for now, I'll just link to some useful videos in the description. As it turns out, other people have already thought about using style transfer and applying it to the domain of music. So let's check out some of their results. <laughs> Okay, so that's kind of neat, but I wouldn't exactly say that those are production-ready sounds. A useful concept that I came across in reviewing the literature came from this paper. In this paper, the authors lay out a three-tiered model of automated music synthesis. Different algorithms will solve problems in different tiers of this model. The tiers are score, control or performance, and audio. Score refers to the musical notes, which contain symbolically 
the basic information about which instruments should be used, their timing, their pitch, and their loudness. Control or performance refers to the subtleties of how the score is translated into sound. For traditional musical instruments, this refers to how the instruments are manipulated by the people playing them. In an orchestra, it refers to how the musicians are coordinating with each other. And then it also refers to how the microphones are set up to pick up the sound coming off of the instruments. In more contemporary music, this would also refer to how synthesizers are programmed and what effects are used and what settings are used during the mix. Finally, there is the sound tier. This refers to the raw audio data that is recorded to disc by a recording device and is later played back through a loudspeaker so that we can hear it. Based on what I'm interested in, I think that it will be most interesting to focus on the control tier. So I can state my goal as follows. In the end, I want to have a piece of software that takes the raw audio input of me beatboxing and controls some digital signal processing chain to synthesize music audio based on the musical information in my beatboxing. Based on my review of the literature and my familiarity with deep learning, I have some basic ideas about how I'm going to make this happen. In the next video, we'll jump into the process of actually trying to realize this idea with some actual code and hopefully you'll see how rewarding, but also frustrating that process can be. I hope that this video has given you some image of how problem solving is really not a linear process, but it takes a lot of twists and turns as you start to really define your goal and how that goal actually changes as you gather information about how you might meet it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications in order to make sure that you see the next video. This channel is brand new and every little bit helps, so uh, please hit the like button if you like this video and say hello in the comments. I'm interested to hear how you found this video and what your interests are, whether they are in music software, programming, machine learning, or you tell me. See you next time.